Hello everyone, welcome. So this is gonna be a pick a card for April. We're gonna see what's coming up for you in love, what's coming up next in love. So we have two options. Option one is the Rose Quartz, option two is the Amethyst. Timestamps will be in the description box below. So let's get into it. If you chose pile one or crystal one, <laughs> The rose quartz let's see what's coming up for you when it comes to love for april what are the love predictions for those who chose pile one for april 2023 what's coming up for those who chose the rose quartz So I see a lot of you are, are really like stabilizing yourself, really stabilizing yourself emotionally. I feel like you're looking for a quality offer when it comes to love. So you're really stepping into this queen of pentacles, whether you're male or female, this is just about stability and like a nurturing energy so that you can attract exactly that into your life i feel like you're looking for your equal balance a lot of you could have this king of wands energy coming towards you aries leo sagittarius male or female just very confident person um very confident person both of you may have a similar attitude for some of you, this could be someone from the past, doesn't have to be, but this is about you and this person having the same kind of strict attitude when it comes to love. Like, I'm not gonna put up with this or that. I want this specific type of relationship. Um, you could be long distance, that could be a block for some of you. Some of you, it could be a long distance situation and it's like, maybe that's just how it starts off. Cause that is showing up as a block, the two of ones someone like it's, it's something where there's some kind of obstacle where one of you is feeling like mm, this might not work or you know it might not work or it might work let me see why is this ten of swords here could be an aries for some of you there's aries libra capricorn scorpio Okay. I'm seeing that. There could be a situation that ends for some of you or ended that left you feeling um, hurt, betrayed, heartbroken. Why is this person feeling the three of wands in reverse? Very strange read, pile one. This could be two different people that are in your energy in April. Capricorn energy, wait, let me just keep going. Why the death card? <laughs> the devil again, someone is, okay. Someone is seeing you as okay this for some of you this could be someone from the past who once saw you as toxic and unstable or this is how you saw them there's a lot of capricorn energy as well oh my god why is this happening okay so what's next in love it could be that someone from your past who you had some type of really rough situation with is coming forward and you might leave them out in the cold. You might be finally standing up to someone who hurt you in the past and now they come towards you. Hold on. Who's this King of Wands? Clarify the King of Wands. 
the sun definitely leo energy this is someone who's holding on to a lot of emotional pain but they're coming towards you so you might need to be aware like watch out for them i see that some of you are going to be rejecting them there's something about you kind of being in the, like independent from this situation and possibly even finding a better quality option than this person but they come back and when it comes to why they come back i don't really get what their motive is because they see you as toxic they see like they feel like there's no future here they may even be somewhat jealous of you with the three of wands in reverse is how they feel about you but they're coming back with this two of cups energy hold on they could be projecting onto you their own toxicity why the ace of pentacles ace of swords some of you have moved on yeah some kind of new start that you have that is that makes you just say no to this person verify the two of ones There's something about you um, not seeing any future with this person and it's almost like they feel the same but they want to come towards you I don't know if this person has some kind of agenda where they want to hurt you again which is just weird like they're just bored with their life or something or they want some kind of ego boost but there's definitely something you need to watch out for it's as if this ten of swords could either be you or it could be them it's like if you allow them to come in and trick you with this seven of cups in reverse like create another illusion if this person already created an illusion for you in the past you could end up in the ten of swords or you could put them in the ten of swords by rejecting them because i feel like they're coming towards you for some kind of ego boost like they feel like they could easily get a rise out of you trigger you why the justice card why justice Yeah, some of you have found someone new or you're going to and you see them as the knight and you see someone else as very stable someone balanced why the queen of pentacles you're very cautious because you've stabilized yourself you've seen things a lot differently you may be seen through this past person they are so weird what else is coming up for pile one April divine timing finances relationship and intuition so you you may be meeting someone more financially stable especially with the the king of pentacles but you're definitely focusing on yourself stability maybe this past person isn't financially stable and they just like to feel powerful by manipulating people what do we have okay give it time let's see what these two were power couple lovers to friend friends to lovers so you could have a connection coming in and there's something to do with this connection being more stable especially financially so many it's like a choice between the future and the past if you were to give the past a chance this past person would just manipulate you and try to like kind of like you know they trigger you and then you react and then they say see you're toxic because of how you reacted to their manipulation that's what i see this person trying to come in and do trying to like prove to themselves that you are the toxic one based on how you react to certain things that they do which is toxic on their end Part one what's coming up next in love the month of april second option see except for all it's worth a lot of you're accepting that it's over with a past person stand your ground and the feelings are mutual so you're meeting someone who has mutual feelings for you 
and you know this because you're being strict about what you want and so is the person that you're dealing with well you have to watch out for this weirdo who just wants to like dig at you one last time to like kind of prove something to themselves i don't know but it's kind of fake because it's not really proving anything it's coming up next in love shift your focus the world wants to see you and give it time again give it time we have long-term instability you're finding someone who's more stable give it time twice I feel like some of you might communicate with this past person but in time they will prove themselves to still be toxic that's if you even give them a chance that's if you even give it a chance what else for power one Mirroring, yeah, it's let me tell you something. They want they want to put their toxic behavior on you. This is someone who doesn't see a future, but they want to come in and trigger you, some kind of love bombing situation. And they're emotionally unstable. They're like very stable on the outside, but on the inside, they need some kind of they need to get a rise out of you or see you act up, see you act crazy, see you beg, see you cry to feel pow for them to feel powerful. And then they turn around and say, oh, you're toxic. You are just over the top and dramatic and toxic. That's what the mirroring is about. Trying to reflect onto you, project onto you. Follow your heart. Love boundaries definitely putting up boundaries with this person is what i see could be an aries but yeah like i said about the outcome this ten of swords can either be for you or for them if you let it be you then it will be you if you let them create this illusion you will experience this ten of swords because that's what they want out of you to see you down so they can feel good but if you step into the emperor energy even if you haven't met a new person yet, you're just able to say, nope, I'm willing to wait <laughs> for the right person. You set a boundary, then this Ten of Swords will not be happening to you. They are in the Ten of Swords. They are feeling low. That's why they need to come and get filled up by you. And it's just like toxic. They want, I don't even need to repeat it. What do we have for power one when it comes to love? Secret admirer. Run the course. Oh God, okay, too many cards, but one flipped. So we have good news on the horizon. Let's take the last one. Your intuition is correct. You have this twice, intuition. So you know, you know what this person wants. You know why they're coming back. Vivid dreams, you may have dreamt about this person, this situation. Do you know what it is? Definitely, definitely, definitely make the right decision. I see you have your guard up anyway and you see the truth, but this is just kind of letting you know that in April, this person will show up just to test you, just to push buttons. Don't let them disillusion you because there is a real stable connection coming in, especially financially stable mentally stable emotionally stable and this person if we're talking about spiritual warfare they really just want to throw off your energy again right when you've done stabilizing it they want to throw it off again so how one could be a capricorn you're dealing with strong capricorn energy taurus scorpio leo a strong Leo, strong Capricorn, Aquarius, and those are and Libra and Aries. Those are the main signs. 
hope this was helpful subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one so if you chose the amethyst pile two this is your reading for what is coming next in love for april what's coming up for pile two the light is already flickering <laughs> What's coming up for Pile 2 in love for the month of April? What's coming up next in love for Pile 2? Let's get a good shuffle. Good one. Alright, Pile 2. What's coming up next in love for Pile 2 for April? <laughs> so a lot of you are still <laughs> i'm laughing at this person over here a lot of you are still like really working on your stability and you are going still currently going through a transformation with a death card as the overall energy and so i see you just having fun some of you may be talking to multiple people like maybe two people but if that's not the case i just see you like having fun and being free because you're still kind of wanting to heal focus on self you definitely left someone out in the cold and they are bitter they're bitter okay they're insecure this is this is that ex who is insecure you know that they're insecure because of how they treated you they may have tried to put you down tried to really make you feel hurt you're really um taking back your power from this person and oh my god they're they're seeing you as the devil so yeah, hmm. they're kind of saying it's you who's toxic. They feel like they're standing their ground with you. They feel like they're pushing you away. What's blocking is the moon. And you are healing. So let's clarify some things and get some more information because clearly, look at that, the devil again. The devil has shown up for both piles a lot. A lot. Well, not a lot, but it's shown up for both piles. Okay, there may be communication from someone page of wands why is the seven of wands here why are they feeling this way this person feels there's someone who feels hurt by you they're single now they see you they see you as betraying them hurting them and that they're standing their ground with you because you're toxic keep in mind this could be vice versa it could be you feeling this way about them but I really feel like it's them feeling this way about you, but it's more like a blaming energy. Like they're just blaming you. Why the, why the Empress in reverse? I feel like, especially if you are making a, a transformation, th because this person's insecure and they try to make you feel low, they're looking at your transformation and, and your growth and it's triggering them. It's bothering them. What's, this, what's with this Three of Cups? See, now you have the Seven of Wands. And you're really stepping out and just starting a new chapter. And they're like sitting there looking at you and blaming you. It's kind of like you're proving that they're actually the one who hurt you, the one who's toxic. But the more you prove that just by your actions, the more they want to blame you because they don't want to face that truth. Why the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, you have a you you got judgment in reverse, so you're still and ten of pentacles in reverse. So some of you are still stabilizing yourself. You're doing the work heavily. But it's 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 not that you're not making progress. I just feel like you know that there's more work to do. Maybe maybe you haven't reached your body goals, maybe you just feel like you're still you still have some triggers that you're working on emotionally or you're still getting this person out of your energy something that you're aware of that you know you're still working on because you got the death card again 
So this is about you putting an end to things, but you know that you haven't fully made the transition yet, still working through some things, not really ready to open up to love yet. I feel like a lot of you are open to it, but you're not out there looking for it. Like you're not going out to see if you can meet someone. It's more like prioritizing yourself. Um, why the why the devil? Why they see pile two as a devil? Could be a Capricorn for some of you or Libra, Scorpio heavy death card again. I told you this is about you transforming. This is about you transforming, and they're looking at you like you're the problem. They feel like you're re rebelling, doing your own thing. So some of you might be partying, like I said with the three of cups, you could be partying, and they're like. It could be gossiping like, look at past you there. You see, all they do is party. That's why I couldn't deal with them. That's why I had to break up with them. You see, they're just toxic and they just like to party. When they know, they know that you're actually working on yourself. You're not calling them, texting them. You are doing what you need to do. And that, it's making them look bad. I don't know, if, I, I did, I had a message like this for one of the signs on the other channel. I don't remember which one. But it's a similar energy. Why the five of pentacles? You'll see them as jealous. <laughs> you know they're jealous. They may have some old way of thinking. They may not be spiritual. They may not understand spirituality or how you can just glow up and change and transform. They may think that you're faking it. But they're jealous you left you know that this person feels left out in the cold and you know that they're jealous some of you could feel like they're jealous of the things that you have especially with the impress in reverse because i feel like this person's insecure and they feel like you have such good luck and you get all kinds of stuff and everything worked out for you they may have envied that clarify the seven of swords in reverse i love it some of you could be moving on We've moved on and they're like, see, Palsy was talking to that person the whole time they were with me. How else would they move on that quick? For some of you, they could be saying that. Not all of you if you haven't moved on, but if you have, it's something about this person trying to protect their image after the ending. Trying to maintain that they were the innocent one. They were the victim. So you're really like, you're making quick progress. In their eyes, you, you, you're you taking off, everything's transformed. To you, you're like, nah, I'm still working on this and that. But to them, they see it as this whirlwind of change. Maybe you change more than you think or more than you're seeing. Why the moon? Clarify the moon, page of cups. What's hidden? It's something hidden and it's something to do with them being unstable and unhappy with the moon. That's what's blocking. They try to come off as happy and stable, but they're not. They could reach out to you. Page of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here in reverse? Devil again. This is the third time for Power 2. And it showed up in Power 1. This is you freeing yourself. Stabilizing yourself. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So you're, you're thinking you're in this energy that you're still trying to get stable. Still trying to work on this and that. But you're really moving quickly. To, you, you're gonna heal soon you could have a sudden like burst of healing at one point where you have a moment where things just connect and you just feel free you could come to realize that some some kind of belief or just some kind of mindset was keeping you stuck in the situation and then you just find out what it is and you just fix it and that's it but some some kind of sudden success you could come to as well could be a result of the healing this will definitely make this person jealous they're jealous, I don't know why, they're so, they're, they're really, they could have been jealous of you the whole time you were together and I don't, I don't know why people do that these days, like hate on the person that they're in a relationship with. 
Anyways, what's coming up for part two in, in April when it comes to love? What are the love messages? Wedding. Some of you could be going into a commitment quickly. You got family. Some of you could have already moved on, and this person's regretting. They could call you when they drink. That could be what this page of cups is about. Their feelings could come out when they drink. Messages for pile two, for April. Pride keeps us apart, except for all it's worth. Closure, sacrifices must be made. So you're gonna get closure. I feel like something is really gonna help you move forward quicker. This person has way too much pride. You're accepting this as the past that may be your closure. You may just kind of cut the situation. Love messages for pile two for April. Body language options. Some of you got options, I'll tell you. Fear of failure and unexpected. You may run into someone, you may be exploring options and you think that that's just what you're going to do for now, but you end up really connecting with someone unexpectedly and committing because you got wedding and family. It may move quite quickly, not, not unhealthily quickly, but just like, wow, I was just trying to explore options. And I think I found my soulmate type energy. Some of you may feel fear failure. Be careful of that. Or it could be this past person who feared failure with you. So they may have sabotaged the relationship. It don't matter because you don't have time for that anymore. What do we have for pile two for April? Wild card. Yeah, a lot of you are stepping out, doing you. I feel like you think it's going to be this wild ride and you're going to meet someone and end up in a commitment and the party will be over. You'll be like, oh, okay, I thought this was going to last longer. Will you end up wifed or husbanded? Codependency. I feel like this ex, especially with the devil here twice, they are codependent on you. And I feel like that's ego. I feel like that's what they don't want to admit to. The more they see you move on, change, evolve, grow, and be happy, the more they're feeling tied to you, the more honest they have to be with themselves and they don't want to be honest with themselves. So it's like pile two is is toxic that's why i'm so connected they did something they manipulated me and i stood my ground with pile two and pile two hurt me that's what they're saying <laughs> well that's what they're thinking but i really feel like they're telling people that or trying to present themselves as the victim what else is coming up in love how to April dream bigger. Yes, you can work it out. Open your open yourself to others. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're definitely dreaming bigger. Your new person could be way more of a bigger deal than this past person. They want to work it out with you. Well, they may regret that they didn't work it out. Some of you are working out. I don't know why I get that from this as well. How to love messages for April. Divine masculine. So you're gonna meet a divine masculine or feminine unexpectedly when you think you're gonna be out there just enjoying yourself as a single person. Got health matters. Obsession. <laughs> Someone can't. What was that? It's upstairs noise. Someone constantly thinks about you. Comparison, stalking, keeping photos and screenshots. This could be a partner, ex, family, family member, friend, foe, or karmic. Most of the story, something unknown will be revealed. Something isn't adding up. Read between the lines. Lies, deceit, betrayal, backstabbing. See this three-way conversation. This person, they're obsessed with you. You don't know this and they're obsessed with their image 
and making sure they that they remain this victim, this innocent person, and you are this bad person. And man, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they don't they don't even want you to know how obsessed they are because that hurts their ego. You may have resonated with power one as well. Or you may have been drawn to power one, I don't know, but this is something it's not the same reading, but it's like similar-ish. Similar-ish. I don't know. I don't even remember the messages. I just remember it being. I don't know. If you were drawn to pile one, check it out. If not, then no. But this person, they're obsessed. I feel like they don't want you to know that. They're obsessed with your... I feel like it's... Like if you were just staying stagnant and you weren't doing anything in your life, they would probably not focus on you. But because you're making such drastic changes, such progress since this was over, since leaving them or since they left you, that's what they're so obsessed about. It's like, how are you doing this? How you just keep you just keep going especially when they try to bring you down with their toxicity that's what's making them obsess the constant progress it's like they're tuning in for the next episode all the time on your page trying to know what you're doing because everything you're doing seems to be exciting and they don't like that they that they question themselves because of this so pile two, this is what I'm seeing. It could be a Scorpio, a Capricorn, strong Capricorn energy, strong Scorpio energy. There's Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn again. Taurus again, Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn again. So pile to i hope this was helpful subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one